friends in this video I'm going to talk about what is my bat explainer and why do we need it my bat is, is a persistent framework or it is also called as ORM object relational mapping framework it supports uh, custom SQL stored procedures and advanced mappings so if you look at this picture uh, I can explain you with this picture so for example you have an application you have uh, some objects in your application and you have you want to query the database you want to do some CRUD operations like you want to create the object you want to update the database database table you want to uh, insert and delete okay so some of the CRUD operations you want to do in your database table from your application so the, the classic way is you can handle JDBC related code by yourself. You can make your query. You can prepare the. You can extract the results and prepare your domain objects. So this is where the Ebatis comes into picture. It 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 stands like a middleman between your application and the relational database. So it helps you to query the database, get the result sets, parse it, and prepare the domain objects for you. Okay, so this is the main benefit. If you know about Hibernate, it is also a similar uh, framework where it helps you to talk to the database. So you focus on your application, you don't have to deal with uh, the boilerplate code talking to the database. So that's what it does. So if you see here, it, hel it helps you to eliminate almost all of the JDBC code and manual setting of parameters and reticular filters. It provides uh, support in XML as well as annotation. In the demo project, I've used annotation. I'll show you uh, in the IDE. Then it also supports in, in Java, Ruby, C Sharp, and Microsoft and it is open source. So let me show you the project and explain you how I've implemented it. It's a very simple example, okay? Let me show you the project. So this is my project and uh, it's a very simple Spring Boot Maven project. Which, which, which has Azure database and the Ebatis. So I have included in my form file the Ebatis library. So it's going to help me to talk to the database and prepare me the object. So this is my object, Bojo object, plain Java object, which has few attributes. And this is my repository, which has CRUD methods. When I say CRUD, create, retrieve, delete, and update methods. So I have to write the query. And what happens? Ebatis takes care of talking to the database, get the result set, and preparing this object and preparing this list for me. So um, behind the scene, it helps me a lot of stuff. Okay, so I just call this method and I get the object. That's all. So a lot of boilerplate code has been avoided. That's the main benefit of Ebatis. Okay, so here if you see, there are some imports came from the Batis jar file which will which is helping me to convert the SQL query it results into my domain object so if you look at the domain object once more it has few attributes and the concept and the constructor okay so this Batis is going to call this constructor and push all the objects and prepare the objects for me if you look at the left hand side it's a very simple Spring Boot application and I will auto wire the repository, which is like a DAO layer for me. And I'm going to call these CRUD methods. So I'm going to run this uh, program in a debug mode so that I would like to show you like how exactly this method, like find all method, returns me the objects. For example, there are three rows. Uh, in the, there are three rows available in the database. Now I've queried those three rows and the uh, Ebatis framework converted me, converted the, those results, the query results, SQL query results into the objects as a list. Okay, so you can see here. So let me show you the database also. So now it's time. And let me show you the database. So I'm using Azure database. So here if I run, so I'm going to connect to the database. This is my table which has those four parameters. Now when I run, you can see these are the four, uh, sorry, three rows, table rows, 
software that has been converted into the domain access which is done by the device okay and uh, the data sql file if you look at the project the data sql file is for uh, schema is for creating the initial like uh, when you launch the application schema sql will contain the sql queries to create the table and data sql is like initialize the uh, data database table with these entries okay so this is the use of this data sql and schema so we are done with this demo so i'll be giving the the github link in the description of this video so please try out clone this video and try out with different methods and try to execute this and play with it i would say if you really like this video please click on the uh, like button if you want to share please share it if you want to subscribe because i'm going to post a lot of technical videos if you have any comments or feedback please let me know thank you so much for your time and all the best for your career